Hi, this is a quick review of the Volo 360 film scanning system. I bought the system when it first came out on pre-order, and I've been using it for a while now to scan my films. TLDR, it's pretty good, but I'm not sure if it's worth the money that they're asking. First, the good parts. It does make scanning film at home faster and more convenient. It's pretty quick to run through a roll of film and change formats between rolls if you need to, and the advancer is very nice at keeping everything in the same place. The duster is also a pretty handy addition, and it keeps most of the dust and hair out of your pictures. Now for the issues. First of all, the holders are pretty loose on the frame of the advancer, which means it's hard to get a repeatable, accurate position on all of your images. What I've done so far is gaffer tape the holder to the advancer, but it's a minor inconvenience nonetheless. Secondly, the centerline of the film duster is quite a bit higher than the centerline of the film holders, so if you're using medium format film, the film has to make quite the bend to get it down to the holders level. Not really an issue with 35mm though. The biggest issue of the system has to do with the advancer. The axles of the advancer go to these knobs at the ends, which have these screws that go through the knob into the axle. But the axles themselves are too short, so you have to leave these screws a bit loose and leave a bit of play in the knob so that the axles can rotate. This is even noted in their manual, that you have to adjust the screws so that they're not too tight. What this leads to is that after four or three rolls, you have a massive amount of play in one of your axles, the one that you keep touching, and the o-rings on the axles can shift out of alignment, completely stopping the film from advancing. Then you have to pull on the axle to get them back in line, and tighten the screw on the end of the knob to continue your scanning. So, is it worth it? This is a really niche market product, and there aren't a lot of other options out there. The cheaper ones don't have the same feature set, the expensive ones maybe don't have the same feature set either. However, this does have some issues that I think should have been caught in the prototyping phase and should have never been in the finished product. If you're willing to live with those issues, it's a good system to use. But I do think they should release a second version of this and some sort of an upgrade kit for those that bought the first version and aren't fully happy with it. You could easily fix the axle problem by using a set screw on the side of the axle or using just a slightly longer axle that you can then tighten the knob on all the way. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about the system, you can put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.